we got we got some stuff to do on Sunday, so let's hop all over those, and then we'll we'll, we'll call it a Thursday, brother. That sounds good to me, man. Uh, the Sunday only is uh, it's an interesting one. I mean, the the entry I like, which is unheard of, it's one hundred forty thousand people. It's four dollars. It's for five hundred thousand in yeah. prizes. The, the winner gets a hundred thousand. This is almost your Sunday main money from the regular season uh, for four dollar entry. So mm-hmm. when you think about it like that, you can't fucking beat that with a stick, man. No, you can't. And and I'll tell you, the odds are bad because of the hundred forty seven thousand people and because of the multi entry. But the beauty of it is, is at four bucks and a hundred thousand dollar payout. What else are you gonna do with four bucks? You gonna buy a cup of coffee? Yeah, exactly. Take a, take a shot, and you only have two games to pick from. That's the real. That's the real gem in this. Is you're picking from two teams, or four teams, two games. Yeah, you know, I like I like this one. Yeah, I like this one a lot, and I like doing lineups with Aaron Rodgers. And then I think you really turned me on to this Matt Moore guy. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna construct a lineup doing that, <laughs> and they're. They're pretty similar, again, to what we just talked about. They're using um, Devontae, Jordy, uh, Jarvis, if I'm doing the Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. angle. Um, if I'm doing Matt Moore. Uh, Let's take this one from the top and go Rodgers right into your running backs. I know we don't have to explain why and who and how because we're talking about the same players again. But um, I, I just so we can to fill one out and see because this yeah, is an no, interesting for, for all of these, I found regardless of what you're doing, even though I know you talked about with a possibility with the uh, Giants pulling some ground game action, I think mm-hmm. it's Levin Bell and Jay Ajayi. You just got to start both of those guys. Um, yeah, so, you do. I think you have to fade them in some other contests too, though. You've got to pivot one of them out and alternate. I think you do. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it would be a good idea. I think I think you might want to start. Um, you know, uh, Perkins in in each one of their places. So you want to do, you know, uh, uh, five, four lineups. Yeah, I think so. I think you might. You shouldn't be afraid to sneak a Ty Montgomery in there. Or three lineups. I know the Giants are, are a good team, but sneak them in. Yeah, I, no, and I think you'd be done after that, though. So for me, with my Aaron Rodgers lineup, it's it's obviously Rodgers, Bell, Ajayi, um, I'm really vibing on Devontae if I'm going with Aaron. So we've got Devontae Adams okay. in there. Then I got, then I got Jarvis Landry. And then I okay. really like uh, – that's when I pivoted and did Sterling Shepard, uh, Geronimo Allison, Kenny Stills, and Eli Rogers. So literally one, two, three, four, sixteen dollars $16. And I covered all of what I felt about Aaron Rodgers. I'm okay. banking on Jordy kind of getting shut down with, you know, Javoris Jenkins and just the overall Giants are pretty damn good defense. They are. That secondary is just flat out nasty. I, I, it is. I think you do have to have a lineup with Jordy in it, though. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. You, you just. Um, I can't sit and watch. I can't watch my boy White Chocolate catch touchdowns and he's not on my team someplace. Yeah, and he, he really. I mean, he's pretty much. Uh, Looking back now, uh, he was Mr. Consistent. He's the, probably the wide receiver I'd want the most if we were, you know, picking again and we were going to get the same production because yeah, he, was I think steady. So. he was real. I think so. You know, I had Julio Jones in our league, and then he just disappeared on some games and got hurt and blah, 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 whereas uh, um, Jordy got better as the season went on. Sure did. I think FanDuel, um, as we as we blow through these, I'm putting a lot of together too. I'm looking at this kicker position, and I think that they they just price these guys all at 4,600 and 4,500 for your kickers on the Sunday uh, Sunday only lineups. But God, you don't want Mason Crosby, and or I don't. I don't want Crosby, and I don't want Robbie Gold. Robbie Gold made a career, an excellent career, out of kicking rocks in five degree weather in Chicago. I don't care that. I just I still don't want a kicker in that kind of weather. Uh, so what do you think? You think Boswell or I, I still? Well, here's, I, I'll... Conversely, that's the toughest place in the history of the NFL to kick field goals. Is Heinz Field? Right. Okay. Heinz well, Field is statistically right, right. the most difficult place in the NFL to ever kick a field goal. It's going to be 22 degrees in Pittsburgh on Sunday. Well, so then fuck. What do you do? 
you, you flip a coin at this point, but I think that's why they're all priced so evenly is because it's just it is what it is. And what I would do is I would take Chris Boswell because I don't want Andrew Franks kicking on the road in Pittsburgh. It's more difficult for kickers on the road. Chris Boswell can kick there all week. Yeah, I guess he's probably used to it, right? Yeah, I'm just using my, my powers of deduction. No, that makes sense. When I was at this position, I really just was like, fuck it, and just kind of like went, you. Whoever. <laughs> I got you. Here. Yeah, so. I mean, at that, at that point, you can throw a dart at it. But let me tell you, I'll throw you this. The Aaron Rodgers lineup I put together for the Sunday only is Rodgers, Paul Perkins, Jay Ajay, Jordy, Devonta Adams, Jarvis Landry, uh, Deion Sims at tight end. Okay. Chris Boswell and the Steelers defense. I might have too many Steelers in there. I don't. I'm good. I so, went you know. with Miami's D. Did you? I did. Been uh, a good one. I did. Yeah, I, I really wasn't sure. Uh, I couldn't afford Pittsburgh's. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't feel Green Bay. They really haven't done shit. Giants were kind of intriguing to me, and then I realized they were playing at Green Bay in fucking abominable snow conditions. So, yeah, I think, it could be gross. I think, I think you're going to have quite possibly in this contest of these four games or four teams. Excuse me. I think you have. Five points is going to be – each one of the teams is going to get five to seven points on defense, and that's about it. Okay. I can okay. see that. So so that's it for me, baby. I mean, like I said, I, I, I kind of want to focus on um, each quarterback. I, I, want to, I want to make probably five to seven lineups if they're going to be, 20, you know, four bucks. I'm going to spend probably 250 bucks tops. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking of of going that direction as well, but very quietly. <laughs> yeah, I will say this is you made me. I'm going to go back and reconfigure my Oswallers for the Matt Moore. Yeah, just just don't you dare let me. Don't take yeah. him out completely because if he throws three touchdowns for 300 yards, I'm I'm I, I just don't want to wear that shit crown. I don't want to wear it. I, I won't. I won't do crazy. I just don't. Uh... No, I know you never do because I've been definitely wrong and I've steered people the wrong way before. Uh, but you know what? In all fairness, neither one of us have steered people the wrong way as many times as we've steered them the right way. Uh, no, and it's logical. It? I mean, you know, I, sometimes I just like to do dumb shit and just take a shot. I remember one one lineup I did <laughs> a few weeks ago. I started as many guys with the first name Michael as I could. And I made money. <laughs> you know, it's um, just so fun to try. Like, you know, you got to sometimes get I don't know if that's crazy. stupid. What's that? that sounds, I said, I don't know that that's stupid. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> no, it was fun. Or sometimes I'll do all dreadlocks, you know. Sure. But, uh, uh, you know, there was actually a year in a, in one of my standard leagues where I think I started like three Pierre's. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was like Pierre Thomas, Pierre Garçon, and there was a third Pierre potentially. Maybe there wasn't a third Pierre. But maybe it was all CJ's. Yeah, that's funny, man. It, it's, you know, it's it's fun to do. I mean, what the hell? You, you, Look, you start to see these lineups and you're just like, how the hell did they figure that out? So sometimes it's, you know, you throw shit on the wall, sometimes it sticks, you know? That's it, man. And, you know, this is this is what we do for fun. It's a good time. Uh, I allot myself X amount of dollars per year to play with. It is my fun money. I don't do anything else. I have very little social life. Uh, I'm not as cool as I come across on the radio. I know people out there are like, God, that guy is just rad. He's not. He's just not. I, uh, I pretty much lay back. I play fantasy football, and I think it's awesome, and you think it's awesome, and everybody who's listening to us also thinks it's awesome. So we're not alone. We're doing the right thing. We're, this is good, clean fun. And if you're out there and you feel like you cannot control your gambling and you're pumping all your money into this week in, week out, and you're going broke, and your wife's ready to leave you, and the kids are starving, and the cat's skinny, um, get help. This is for fun. This is supposed to be a good time, not stressful. I certainly don't sit in front of the TV and cry on Sunday. That's a lot. Yeah, Let's you, try to enjoy it. You gotta, you, you gotta realize. I mean, how many sure things have you put into this damn uh, game, and you just were blown away? Like last week, I had great lineups uh, up until the tight end, and then we talked about it. Uh, if you didn't have Kyle Rudolph or more so Zach Ertz. Exactly. You weren't winning shit. I mean, those guys, guys that usually get 8 or 10 points, put up 34. So how are you going to, so, yeah, yeah you, you, never wanna put, 
you never want to put all your eggs in one basket. You certainly don't want to put in so much money thinking you're going to win. But when we talk about, you know, spending 250 bucks, this is the week to do it versus when you have 32. Week one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so, I, I try to, to really minimize it throughout the course of the season. And then as it gets to this time of year, this is when we get to have ourselves a little bit of fun. And, uh, and yeah, it might cost you a little bit more, but you might pop a good one. I know last year I did pop a big one. I've talked about it a few times, and I, and I just said pop a big one. Uh, but last wow. year I hit one on the weekend. It was a really nice payout, and I played with that money all year long, and I still took some of it home as well. Uh, yeah, I think I put in, like, less than 500 bucks this year. Yeah. And from, I mean, when I look at my wins and losses, I'm at almost at $14,000 in wins. And, no, I think and that's, that's really, really impressive. That's why you're here. Uh, yeah, all because, told, I've I've added uh, maybe fifteen hundred dollars of my own money in that. If that, not even though, because I think I was like seven hundred last year, so I think yeah. I'm at about twelve hundred total that I've ever put in. Um, this year so was I, not so good. No, this year was the most frustrating, I think, and we'll do a recap after uh, right. all the stuff settles after the Super Bowl. But this has been the most frustrating year where you saw. Everyone thought the wide receiver position was going to be the big money maker, and it went back to the running back. Sure it did, yeah. I mean, guys like David Johnson took over the season. Oh, Zeke. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, it he, just goes DJ to show that, Zeke. Yeah, next year, I mean, who's going to be the dumbass to draft Gronkowski again in the top ten? You know, so. Beat me, okay. buddy. I didn't do it this year. I won't do it next year. Yeah, no, we're back to. Uh, Running back, Aaron Rodgers, I think, if you really want the truth, that's how it's going to get you go. Who is it? That was five years ago, the running back and then Aaron Rodgers, you know? Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, I, I, I think so. I think you've got some clear-cut running backs, though, whereas this year you did not leading up to it. Um, I was fortunate to have David Johnson fall to me, I think, at seven or eight or wherever I was, and he was wow. the only guy I was leaning at. I, I, if he wasn't there, I was all kinds of screwed. I was going to take – Frickin' Des Bryant. I didn't know what to do yeah. until DJ yeah, okay. came. So, you know, you catch – the draft comes to you and you got it lucky. We, we will be doing a bunch of pre-draft shows uh, in the summertime because what the hey. But uh, at this rate, brother, let's shut it down. Coming up on that hour mark here. Thank you guys again so much for listening. It's it's God, this is a blast for me. It's a blast for you, Mike. It's a blast for the listener out there. Uh, throw your comments at us. We're going to set up a dedicated email address so you can go ahead and shoot comments in that way. We have some trouble getting some things via Twitter and via the chat room on Spreaker. If you are listening to us, to us on YouTube, which I can tell by the statistics, a lot of you are, and it's really cool. We're flattered, and, and we're hoping this information is going to help you uh, have a lot more fun on Saturdays and Sundays come playoff time. But if you are listening to us on YouTube, please click like and subscribe and tell a friend. Tell a friend to chime in and, and uh, go ahead and contribute on the uh, the message board below. Some of our friends out there, check out some other YouTube sites. Uh, our friends at Half Moon Picks. This guy does a great job. He does awesome graphics. He's pretty good at picking games up there, and he's, he's really one hell of a guy. Uh, so we do appreciate uh, his partnership as well. And, and be sure you're ready for uh, some Sunday Swim next year. I won the Sunday Swim this year, Mike. And I choked in the big contest Sunday swim. I fell out from second place. I fell to sixth. I placed in the qualifying section between first and sixth place out of 50 people. Uh, but had I finished second, it would have been a much nicer New Year. But I choked. I heard the Seahawks the land. What if, the what ifs, huh? There's tons of what ifs, man. My whole life, your whole life, it's all about what ifs. And ifs and buts and candy and nuts. And All right, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's call it a night, man. We've emptied the tank. You're listening to the Lions Sports Talk Podcast. This is our daily fantasy edition. Once again, folks, thank you very much. Harbor Mike, say goodnight, brother. Goodnight, brother. All right, we're